De La Wright, my envious, welcome. The peace you enjoy today in the palace is as a result of Queen Naomi in your life. Do not provoke her spirit. You won't be able to handle the consequences. Reverend Esther Ajay is alleged to have warned the Oni of Ife. Now, you know that, um, I don't know, for some reason, um, since this whole drama started um, uh, yesterday, I have really been opening my ears to hear what Reverend ha will have to say. Um, uh, Reverend Esther Ajay, who is known for speaking the truth at all times, is said to have um, been shocked by the development and that um, nobody knew. And that is not just it. The fact that KBSC is also acting as if he is shocked when they said, from what we are hearing him, that he probably um, knew. But another thing again, um, uh, you know, KBSC is said to be saying that he was told, but he thought it's the same gimmicks. And if you want to look at it from the other uh, point of view, you may not necessarily blame the man who, because uh, there's, what that man has seen, the man has seen it a, a, a enough. But uh, be it as it may, they said... Um, uh, Reverend Esther Ajay has spoken to the Oni of Ife. You know that uh, we heard that he was the one who first reached out to Reverend Esther Ajay, and he was um, basically pleading with Reverend Esther Ajay to uh, speak to Olori Naomi because Reverend Esther Ajay happens to be one person that Olori Naomi listens to, and uh, Naomi has got a lot of respect for that woman. Uh, to whom much is given, much is expected, okay? And so and um, this woman happens to be only of his first godmother and only listens to the woman as well. So the same when KBAC, um spoke to Reverend Esther Ajay, Reverend Esther Ajay, you know, when the situation only said to KBAC that he should um, uh, um, not forget that the peace that he enjoys right now in the palace is as a result of Queen Naomi that he should not provoke Queen Naomi's spirit again. That she has said what she has to say, that under the circumstances she doesn't know what to say, but the only thing that she will say right now is that Queen Naomi should um, um, uh, walk with, you know, um, the uh, spirit of light that is in her. Like the spirit of light that is in Queen Naomi is going to lead Queen Naomi, is going to guide Queen Naomi, is going to direct Queen Naomi on the right path to follow. But one thing she will always say in her life to all her children is that marriage indeed is patient. Did you hear me? Now, they said the Reverend was very diplomatic, uh, warned his godson to understand that the uh, peace that he enjoys right now in the palace is as a result of Queen Naomi, that um, uh, the only of it should not provoke the spirit of Queen Naomi. And also went ahead to say that she does not know what to say to Queen Naomi again, but the one thing she will say to Queen Naomi is that she knows that Queen Naomi has the spirit of light in her. That Queen Naomi should walk with the spirit of light that is in her. Queen Naomi should listen to the direction of light that is in her. That one thing that she will say to all her children as a mother is that marriage is patience. That that is all she has got to say. Now, she was very upset about everything. But now, what do you expect her to say? She is a woman of God. And um, one thing that, of course, everybody is expected um, expect from her is to preach peace and not to um, preach separation. Would you, will it not be weird for you if um, you will hear that Reverend Esther Ajay say Queen Naomi should leave Olori um, and the only of it? It would be weird because, you know, no matter what, the word of God says that, you know, um, marriage should not be broken. And these are women of God and men of God, and that is what they will hold on to. They said that Oni of Ife has been very, very devastated. Yeah, his devastation is coming as a result of the fact that what has happened now is capable of causing another um, serious wahala between him and Olori Naomi. And you know that Naomi, uh, uh, Naomi's own, when Naomi starts, she does not stop. 
when Nami starts, Nami will go on and on and on and on. I'm not doing, I'm not doing, I'm not doing. And I think that um, uh, uh, what um, is happening now, Oni of Ife is afraid of situation snowballing into that again. But now and again, if I may ask this question, the thing is that I really think that at this junction, KVSC should really um, come out and state exactly what he wants. I am a polygamy. I'm a polygamist and I love my first wife, that is Olori Dami. I want her to stay with me and I want her to adopt poly, um, the, the polygamous lifestyle. Yes, where she can be uh, comfortable and everything because I have said this thing time and time again. I am a fan to Oni of Ife and Queen Naomi and above all, I have a lot of respect for Oni of Ife just as I have for Naomi and the general Yoruba people. But like I will always say, I feel like the Oni of Ife love Queen Naomi, but what he wants is that he wants Queen Naomi to be a part of his life while he all, he's also enjoying the other women. That is what I think. And from what he, I think, Ian if I made a very valid point when where she said that um, KBSC needs to, you know, um, uh, give Quinami options to choose from. That if the only option that he is giving Quinami is one option to either marry him or go out and uh, be a uh, single, live in a. Uh, um, uh, isolation that uh, that is not an option that in fairness KBSC needs to give Queen Naomi an option to choose from yes tell Ka um, uh, Naomi you you can either stay with me because you love me or go I will free you I will I will love our relationship will still be there I will free you you will go you're free to be with anybody you want to be with you're free to marry anybody you want to marry and KBSC needs to come out and let everybody know that and so that it will be easy for him to do the ritual when the time comes so that Queen Ami will decide whether she really wants to stay with KBSC or she wants to go out of the life of um, KBSC. That way you will know that she's not under durex to be um, with the Oni of Ife because right now Queen Ami, Oni of Ife has given Queen Ami just one option and that option is to stay with him and um, um, Yanifa just realized that after she found out that Queen Ami didn't know what was going on even though they knew and Yanifa is very very upset and they said that is the reason why the woman is leaving that no she cannot be a party to this and they said when she was leaving she told Oni of Ife never to lose um Queen Naomi so right now uh, uh they said Reverend Esther Ajay too has told KBSC that uh, KBSC should not provoke Queen Naomi's spirit but what she can say is that Queen Naomi should listen, listen to the light and she will always say like she will say to her own children that marriage is all about patience. But at the end of the day, it is Queen Naomi's decision to do whatever. As a matter of fact, everybody don't just give up on this situation. The thing, eh, the, the good thing is that Queen Naomi has been patient. They say Queen Naomi is too proud. Queen Naomi is too this. She, she has lowered herself to everything that they want. So right now, have you seen it? That is no longer in Queen Naomi's hand. So that is what we are hearing. You know, if this information is true, this is what is making the rounds on social media. I'm going to bring you more update. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Do not forget these are all alleged, rumored, and speculated information making the rounds on social media.